Hi there. Today we're going to have a look at CW Type, another piece of software that we can use. And uh, you can get it here on the DXSoft website. This is free software and uh, it's quite nifty. So it shows you some uh, screenshots and kind of runs through what it can do here on the dxsoft.com website. So if you just put uh, CW Type into Google, that'll be good enough to get you there. So right, let's get rid of that. And here we are. This is what you end up with once you download it and uh, you expand all the, the windows open and whatnot. So um, first place you need to go is into the help file and uh, have a good poke about in there. It's uh, quite involved. Uh, the connection end of it here is very good it's it's quite uh, intensive and very detailed so it's worth having a read of that and the second section you really need to have a look at is the uh, macro sequences overview this gives you all these little codes here you can see there's quite a list of them and uh, I'll show you what all that's about later on uh, user license it's free you can distribute it once you don't change the original coding of the program there's no problem with that so all right let's close that now um before you start you need to go into setup and this works with the 7300 via the usb cable so if you have um say if you're using the rsba1 you want to save a profile for that and then you need to have a second profile for the CW type. So you'll have to switch between the settings because uh, you can see there that the DTR is, is set for the key uh, of the settings I have on my um, radio that makes this work. So so you can have a look at that and uh, pause the video on it or whatever. But uh, once you do all those settings, it should be good to go. Uh, you go in here to your sound then. By default, there's nothing in here. So pick your speakers. That'll let you hear the CW uh, from your sound card if you want to do it that way. Uh, Mox and Paddle, I haven't done anything with that. I haven't changed it. These are all default settings. Uh, this is default. Um, this is default as well the only thing that i've changed here and i'll get into that in a minute is uh, to do with the macro buttons um i made it that uh, i'm using just the, the 12 function keys um, you have 36 programmable macros that you can put in you can use just the function keys on their own you can use control and the function key and alt and the uh, function key so i'll get into that in a few minutes so uh, you can adjust the height of them you can adjust uh, the columns so i have uh, three rows of four and um you can have the amount of buttons button rows so i put in three of those so there that's that um i'll get back into that in a minute fonts and colors you can go in here and you can have a change in that uh, when we get it to send something i'll just do it here um now the ei7ko is not black is is not red sorry so um if i click tx there you can see it changed to red so that means it's sent now uh other than i don't use these loggers that they use so we don't really need to worry about that so uh, i'll hit f12 and it'll clear that so um on these macros uh you can go in here and you can expand that across the way to the full width of your screen and these are the little codes i was talking about here you can see them this one here it switches the radio to transmit it sends the message and then this switches it back to receive and then these other ones here like ec m4 en what that does is it inserts the values that you have in these boxes here right so the stations call the report and the name and then you have an other as well if you want to put stuff in there you can uh, you can do that as well but you'll have to tag that in these codes 
so um i have all my macros in you can see the kind of stuff i have in yada 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 you can change them all about um, if you wanted to change one on the fly that you were only going to use it once you can actually just edit it here and change that to whatever you want and hit apply don't hit save uh, and what that will mean then is that when you close the program and you come back uh, this will be 5nn to you as it was not what you changed it to but if you hit save it's a permanent change so uh, that's the macros pretty much um, now you can see here I've got them all labeled how did I do that um, if you right click on it and you can go in here into this top field and you just type in it's one of these small little windows where it'll keep scrolling across as you're typing it in so you can type in what the macro there is in full and then just hit save and uh, it's quite handy that way so I'll show you now uh, what else have we got here right so if we hit that tune button uh, the radio will actually go into transmit so you can tune and it'll stay until in transmit until you click ok and then it goes off um, the SP here this is the speed of the Morse and if we look down here we can see 125 letters per minute and 20, 25 words per minute and we can increase or decrease that here so let's leave it around uh, 28.6 this is the dot dash ratio here and this the letter spacing here the interletter spacing there's a beacon mode on it but i don't use that um now two things that are important with this um to get it to work you have to have a your radio has to be in break in or full qsk whichever one you use and tx has to be selected up here i.e it has to be red like that now so if we get it to send uh, say we get it to send my call please over so I will just hit, uh, put on the sound here actually and we'll get it to uh, do that so there you are and you can see it changes from black to red as it's been sent um, now also what you can do if we get it to send a slightly longer one like f2 that's call and what i mean by call here is whatever value i have put in this box so say if we put in my good friend roly the i4 golf yankee bravo into that box and we know his name is roly so we stick that in there and you can change that there if you want to 5nn right so what we can do here is we'll click this button and you can see it inserts the call and the name and the report is here you can pause it here as well if you wish and it'll stop and then it'll resume once you let that off so there you are um that's that it's quite handy that way so i i find that the 12 um the 12 f keys on their own are, are pretty much enough because you can type in stuff like if i type in hello and try spelling it right it'd be a help it'll send it in real time and i can type a hell of a lot faster than i can uh, send cw <laughs> let me tell you so you know you know so if you can type very fast you're in business but uh okay well that's pretty much it i've kind of went through everything there uh, that I wanted to show you. Oh yes, one more thing. When you're finished with whoever you're working with, make sure you hit the clear button and that will delete those fields back to, to what they should be because you don't want to embarrass yourself by calling somebody else with the last station's call sign and name. <laughs> that uh, wouldn't look very well at all. So that's uh, CW Type by UA90V, free software and uh, I think it's pretty cool and uh, it's quite customizable as well so 
you can do lots of stuff with it you know if you're sitting there at one of these d expeditions uh, you can just sit there and you can just click you know every few seconds click it again and eventually he'll come back and he'll answer you and he'll say you know 5nn ei7ko 5nn and you can just hit f10 and that's it then you know so it's uh, it's very good I, I find it quite good so that's uh, cw type thanks very much for watching please subscribe if you have any questions drop them in the comments down below and we'd be delighted to hear from you so uh, 7-3 for now and we'll get you again soon all the best